Welcome back savages to another video. In this video we're going to be unboxing a crypto project called WeatherXM. So WeatherXM is based on an external weather station which collects weather data in your local area and shares it over the network. In return you'll receive a reward in the form of a token called WXM. So at the moment you do receive the reward in terms of the tokens but they're not worth anything at the moment because it's still on testnet. So in this video we're just going to see what's included inside the box and then we're going to finish off by seeing what the power consumption is of the receiver unit. Let's go. So first off you get a good box, it's not plain or anything, it's a decent sized box. A little handle on there if you want to carry things. So you just open it from there and basically pull it out like that. So the first thing I've seen in the box is a quick guide for setting up. There's six steps on there and where you can download the app. That's nice to have. Put that to one side. So the first thing is this weather vane that you get. I presume that'll just click into place on the top. So we'll keep that over there. The next thing is looks like the receiver unit. So yeah, that looks like the unit itself, just slides out of there. It's quite compact, which is nice to see. Looks like there's a micro USB-C connector there. Mini SD card slot. Not really sure what that is at the moment, but yep, yeah, nice and compact. So that looks like the receiver unit right there. That looks like some kind of a GPS antenna. Yep, yeah, which it is. And the USB cable. So you get both of them included with this. And then you get a screwdriver, Allen key, some kind of a loop that comes with it as well. I presume that'll just, from the looks of it, just go in there like that. And then antenna right there as well. And there's this bit as well. Another part of the weather vane as well, probably wind direction. You get some mountain brackets as well, and there's a screwdriver there. So that's going to be for the outside weather station here to basically mount it on something outside. And last but not least, the actual weather station itself. So on an initial impression, it's got a good build quality. It's got the uh, the logo on the front there. So we've got the rain detector thing here on the left, I presume. So the wind sensor will just probably connect onto there, like so, and it clicks in. So that's all working. And then you put the wind direction connector, I presume similarly, just into here. That's a half moon shaped screw. Just line it up on there, put it up as far as you can, and then just tighten this screw here. There we go. So that's what it kind of looks like. It's not going to drop off anytime soon. So that's what it looks like there. So wind speed, wind direction, right there. Next thing you ought to do is put the batteries in this thing. And there's a screw just here to take off. So we'll take that out. Right 
and it takes two 1.5 AA batteries. So they all just go in there. So we'll put them in in a bit. And the last thing is you've got a solar panel just on here as well. So you can just pull this cover off here and you'll have solar power going to it as well. Like so, you can see the panel just there. And then you've just got a little spirit level thing here. So if you're mounting it, you can see exactly if you've got it perfectly aligned up. So that's good. So yeah, so that's all there is really to the, the weather station, just two air batteries and then that'll communicate back to this receiver. So what we're gonna do next is just plug this in. I'm not gonna set it up so it's actually on the grid, but I'm gonna just basically plug this in and let's see how much power consumption this particular unit uses when it's switched on. So that's the receiver plugged into the USB-C cable that comes with it. Uh, that's the default screen you get on boot up and it's showing the wind, gust, rain rate and UV index. Obviously it's not connected to the sensor just yet because I haven't got that connected up outside and it's not on the network either. So that's just the default boot up screen you get out of the box. So what I've done is I've connected that to a USB meter just to get some power consumption stats. Let's have a look at that. So I'll move this up here. And as you can see, it uses 4.78 or 79 volts, 0 0.25 amps. And if we zoom in there, it's just over 1.118 watts of power, which is next to nothing. So this is a very low powered unit. And that's good news if you're going to be using this around the clock and just having it plugged in. So with this just using one watt of power when it's running, it might use a bit more when it's actually connected to the weather station. I won't really know that until I've got it all set up. But initial figures look very good and definitely shows that's got good low power consumption. So there you go, Savages. Just wanted to do a quick video on unboxing the WeatherXM crypto project based on air quality weather data and what's included inside the box and just how much power consumption you get from that dinky little receiver right there. So anyway, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one.